What is up guys? Welcome to Lake Tahoe on the crummiest day to ever ride an e-skateboard. With our current cold temperatures and a recent snowfall, I thought for sure it would be a great day to take the board out, ride on some hard packed snow, maybe some ice but it was the exact opposite. All it was, was a bunch of slush, water, and just melted snow. It was really disgusting, and this is the first time I was actually afraid of actually breaking something. Every time that the conditions are really tough like this, I always take out the Andre Velar just because it's been so reliable and I know that I can typically go through just about anything. But today I was super aware of the board and the only thing that actually went wrong was the remote froze over and I had to get the thumb throttle wheel disengaged as it actually iced over. I kind of take a little bit of pride in actually riding these boards in the harshest conditions that I can actually do at the time. However, today I really kept it fairly short as I think that this was pushing the upper limits with just the amount of water on the paths and the roads. I mean, I was absolutely drenched and the board was just covered in ice, slush, water. The grip tape was completely iced over pretty much when I finished and the whole place was just a complete mess and I am really, really actually surprised that I did not break anything. The only thing you really have to be aware of is when riding belt driven boards is that when you're riding in such cold temperatures and everything's so wet you just have to be really careful about the throttle because if you lay on the brakes too hard or acceleration you do have a higher chance of breaking these belts which i have done on a regular basis it seems like at this point and i've just kind of learned that it's really me trying to get going when i really get stuck in some of the snow or mud or dirt or whatever it is or just braking too hard which Everything when you're in this kind of conditions just has to be super smooth, well timed out, well thought out, and just controlled. I really thought this video was going to turn out to be absolute garbage because every time I looked at the Insta360 camera, the lenses were just covered in water droplets but it seems like it kind of came out okay, but I do apologize because it is annoying just having these water droplets on, but it was completely unavoidable today.
no way am I trying to promote riding in these types of conditions as the water, the ice, the snow really makes it super dangerous even if you're on a bike path of just slipping out and crashing but I am committed to trying to make these videos as often as I can every day if possible and so if you appreciate that I would really really like a subscription and a like on this video as I am putting my physical being in harm's way. But if you'd rather just watch that is fine too and I appreciate the view. So as you can see here my pants are completely drenched. I actually had two layers of ski pants on just to keep myself dry but everything was just completely soaked through and just riding through this slush even through the village was pretty challenging and I'm pretty sure that all these skiers thought I was a complete idiot. Maybe some of the snowboarders thought I was relatively cool but just probably very a small amount. Anyways a lot of people were yelling at me to stick on the skis which I kind of agree. So to say the least, I was really impressed with this board's ability to still carve in such cold temperatures and just really survive throughout all the rain and the water and the, just the terrible, terrible roads. And even the remote was rock solid. Some of the Ace Deck remotes, they get moisture behind the screen and then they're kind of useless for a while until you dry them out. But with the Andra Velar remote, nothing really affected it unless it gets frozen, of course. So as I believe in showing and not just blabbing the entire time telling you about how great this electric skateboard is, you kind of see it firsthand here and take my word on it, it is kind of a tank throughout whatever terrain you want to push it through. The thing is just kind of over engineered and overbuilt. Kind of like that, that Swedish engineering really stands the test of time I suppose. So I'm going to quit talking here and just let you finish off the rest of the video without me but I really appreciate you watching today kind of coming along this journey this little adventure about nine miles throughout all this slush and back home safe and sound luckily <laughs> <laughs>